and the gifted returned with a bang last week. And that's a literal bang as power began blowing out across the city. The show's second season premiere is setting up an exciting new season as the mutants combine their powers and begin planning for an uprising. Good day, Atlanta's Paul Milliken is live on the show's Atlanta set this morning doing a little behind the scenes mm -hmm. snooping. What's going on, Paul? Yes. And Elise, I hope you did not watch the season premiere. I want you to watch The Gifted as much as possible. But last week's episode, let's just say the birth that was on screen was a little bit rough, and I don't want to scare you away. So maybe you stay away from that episode, watch the rest of them. It's all her fault. Emma Dumont, of course, who plays Polaris, and Percy Hines White, who plays Andy Strucker. Great to see you guys. How are you? Great. Thanks Good. for uh, coming here. And so do you feel like you scared off some, some about to give birth women out there, some pregnant women? Oh, yes. Well, I mean, <laughs> if a human growing inside of you isn't scared, Scary enough, then uh, our show really did, tipped it over the top. Because you gave birth to a mutant, which, by the way, was history making, right? It was, yeah. It's the first time we've seen a mutant birth in like live action media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really cool. And so you told me this before, and I want to ask you again. So the day that you filmed the birth scene on screen, there was a lot of screaming, there was a lot of chaos. What was it like behind the scenes filming that? Exactly the same as what you see. <laughs> <laughs> um, all the effects that day were practical effects uh, for the most part. So things crashing through the wall, like things falling down. Oh, I screamed. Wow. I screamed in every take. We did so many angles. I think we dedicated a whole filming day to that scene. Um, and I screamed in every one. I wow. mean, Percy was there. Yeah. That's amazing. Was it was it just a loud, loud day on set? It hurt my ears. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's back to normal, as normal as it can be here on the Gifted Set. Let's talk about your character. So we were just saying the premiere episode, really a lot of it was about Andy. Andy has been separated from his family. He's now part of the inner circle. He's living there. What's coming for your character this season? What can you tell us about Andy's journey that he's about to take? Um, Andy's about to go through um, kind of a harrowing experience and he's he's gonna have to make some tough decisions but he's uh, really trying to stick to his um, core beliefs and values yeah without like you know going back on things he said before and yeah he's trying to make the most of his situation well I love the storyline because there's so much emotion wrapped up in it on both sides I mean obviously Andy is must be excited about this sort of new thing but also missing the family and same thing for the family is it fun to play those kind of emotional scenes yeah, um, it's especially cool when I'm doing the, the dreams because with, um, with Lauren, I have to kind of play like, oh, I'm happy to see you, but like, oh, I don't really want to see you yeah, yeah. at the same time. So it's kind of a, a, it's a fun scene to play. You know? Yeah, yeah. It's so much fun being here behind the scenes on the set. This is a new set than you were on last year. It's huge. It's like a big playground in here. How much fun is it like running around exploring being part of this world? Um, well, we're not allowed to run around, per se. <laughs> sorry, um, <laughs> we did this morning. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's really cool. I mean, yeah, we have a lot bigger space. We have more sets. Uh, you know, they, they spring up so quickly. So it's really exciting to see, like, what new things have been built, what, yeah. what new things there are. We don't get the scripts until last minute because it's top secret. And so we can kind of see where the, where the scripts are going by looking at what new sets are, sets are propping up. Okay, so that's interesting. Do you not really know, like, the full journey your character will take each season? Do you find out week to week? Heck no, we don't know. No, we really? find out week yeah, to week. Yeah. It's a surprise for us, which I prefer because our characters don't know, you know? Yeah, yeah. what do you think? Well, I... Yeah, I was just going to agree. But yeah, we don't we don't know when, like when I signed up for the show at the very beginning of the first season. Yeah. I didn't know what it was going to be other than the first episode at all. Wow. That would drive me nuts. All right, you guys have really good patience apparently. I think that would drive me nuts. Let's talk really quickly about being part of Atlanta. Now, we in Atlanta love that the gifted is here. We love getting to see parts of our city on screen, and especially now that they're like doubling for Washington DC and it's really weird to see. What do you guys think of filming here in Atlanta? It's been great. I mean, I love Atlanta. I love Georgia. I think, you know, our show's themes of like minority groups and mm -hmm. and, you know, equality is really Rad to be in a place that was such a big part of the civil rights movement and mm -hmm. to be in this part of the country is awesome. I also just love Atlanta. It's beautiful. People yeah. are nice and really good food. And by the way, you told me before you're a Dragon Con fan, right? Yes. Love Dragon Con. It's, it's like nothing best. I've ever seen before. Yeah. Yeah. And isn't it true that your character, what country is it? Somewhere overseas that your character is like crazy popular. Where is it? In China. 
Really? Yeah, of all places. Yeah, people yeah. love Lorna. Love all Polaris. Right. Well, like, when when are we all going to China to do a story about that? Tomorrow. Thing? No, I don't done. know. No. All right, done, done. Anytime. Well, guys, it was so great to see you both. Thank you both for being here. Thank I you. Yeah, thanks. All right, so The Gifted, tomorrow night, right here on Fox 5. I've been, at least I've been trying to figure out all morning, like, what my mutant power would be. Oh, uh, what would be a cool mutant power do you think to have? Do, what do you think? Like what would be um, like metal bending. I don't know. I mean, you know, what Maybe, do you think? Yeah. I, I mean, uh, I don't know. We're gonna figure it out. I'm gonna try I'm trying to write myself into the show, basically. I'm not <laughs> leaving the doing. set <laughs> and I'm gonna find myself a place here. Yeah. So if you have any ideas, Elise, let me know and we'll figure it out. I feel like for great. you it'd be something behind like Andy Strucker, like, like hey. reading people's minds or Paul's would Sounds be something dangerous. like that. I know. <laughs> He'd be invisible, pop up places. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. And then telling everybody because right. I'm a gossip. So yeah. that's perfect. Thanks. Well, you said it. All right. Thank you, Paul. You can catch an all new The Gifted tomorrow night right here on Fox. The show airs at 8 p.m., followed by an all new Lethal Weapon at 9.